Hey guys, how you doing? So I am in Western Mass now, and I ended up buying rollerblades, so I've gone a couple times, and I am on a rail trail here now, so I'm going to do it again and try to practice some different ways of stopping and everything. So wish me luck. Well, I survived rollerblading. I didn't actually go this morning when I first said I was. I went later on in the day. <sighs> Getting a little bit more comfortable, but it's a workout boy on your hamstrings. Woo. I look like such a goon when I'm out there. I've got knee pads, elbow pads, wrist guards, helmet, and I bring my trekking poles just to help me with my balance, at least for now, till I get a little better. And I actually practiced falling a couple times, you know, on the grass. One time I didn't do too well falling. <laughs> so I'm on my way to New York. I'm hoping to get to Anytime Fitness somewhere in New York before, before the staff hours end, because it still hasn't been 30 days, so I have to go when it's staffed. Uh, looks like I may have five minutes to spare. But this is Le New Lebanon, New York right now. And it's, it's really pretty. This isn't even that pretty, but where I just went by this Shaker Village or something, it was really cool. I wish I had time to stop. Maybe on the way back. I'm gonna take my time getting to my friends. You know, maybe a day or two. If I see something else that I wanna do, I'm gonna stop and do it. Well, I made it to Anytime Fitness just in time. So I got to work out and shower, felt good. I am in Latham, New York right now. It's a really nice Anytime Fitness here. It is a really big shopping plaza. And I think my camp and RV app thing says there's a Walmart over there or something or close by. It's 9 p.m. so I might actually just spend the night here. I'm in no hurry to get to New York. Well, I want to be there, you know, the next day or two. Um, I find sleeping at Walmarts is just very convenient and easy and you sleep well because you know you're most likely not going to get woken up as long as there's, you know, other RVs there. But I know other band walls have said that that's the only place they've ever gotten bothered was a Walmart. But instead of driving around searching for someplace else, I'll just probably stay at the Walmart. And what I hope is to be in a place where I can find some place to go for a walk or hike and uh, be even better if some place that has a bike path where I can roll a blade. And then later in the day, I'd like to find a gym. Like I like to go about 5 p.m. or so at the end of the day so I can be nice and clean and showered before I go to bed. Can anybody tell me how that camp and RV app works? You put your location and it pinpoints you and then it shows you these different things near you. Does that mean those are places to park? Like it's showing me Sam's Club and Dick's Sporting Goods. But it doesn't really say whether those are places you can park or not. Or is it understood that anything they show means you can park there? I don't know, I'm confused. So we ended up coming to the Walmart, which is down the street from Anytime Fitness. I'm not sure if you can park here or not. I see no other RVs or campers, but I'm way away from the building by the street. I'm just gonna do it. If they wanna bother walking all the way over here to wake me up, they can. Good night. Check out this view. So beautiful. I'm at Lions Park in Mishkayuna, New York, I think it's called. Now everybody can laugh at me the way I pronounce towns. I always laugh at Jed how we pronounce the Massachusetts towns. <laughs> Gloucester and all that. It's actually Gloucester. But this is a bike path. So I'm going to walk it right now and then possibly rollerblade it. So I slept great at Walmart last night, no problems. Slept at like quarter of eight. 
I don't, you know, no window coverings or anything. I just had the windows down, so it was nice. Check out this getup. Is he safe though? I just went to the best diner. I'm in Dwaynesburg, New York. It's called Dwaynesburg Diner and Restaurant. If you're ever in the neighborhood, you should definitely check it out. It was really good. They actually had fluffy pancakes, which some places just don't know how to make. So now I'm on Route 20. It's a scenic byway. It's a beautiful ride. I'm actually in Sharon, New York. that funky tractor type thing in front of this truck. Okay guys, so I have arrived at my destination in central New York. Now, uh, I don't give out the town that I'm in when I'm visiting friends because it's some place that I will, you know, probably go kind of often and it's it's just, you know, not my information to give, so. Uh, and also I know people have shown some concern because I'm trying to meet up with other people. But don't worry, I'll be very safe. You know, I'll meet people in public places and I wouldn't bring anybody back to where I'm camping or, you know, the town that I'm staying or even give out the exact town that I'm staying at. So thanks for your concern, but I will be safe. So I took the scenic route, you saw some of the footage from that, such a beautiful ride. It probably was a total of almost four hours of driving from um, Western Mass, but you know, it's totally worth it. It's just so, so beautiful. Just a lot of hills and farmland and some mountains in the background. Um, I did get tired and stopped and just pulled over in this little dirt area and took a nap for a while. Nobody bothered me. And I went to uh, Anytime Fitness in Cortland, New York. Um, unfortunately, they wouldn't, they let me in, but they, they said I had to leave by the time they left. So I only had about 50 minutes to work out and shower, so it's kind of a quick one. But I have to say that the, the bathrooms were kind of disgusting. So I'm, I don't have to be stealthier, so that's nice. I'm just in the driveway. And I think I will stay here a few days unless rain is predicted or because uh, they have like flash floods here and I am not about that life. So I don't know, see, it depends on the weather. If the weather's nice and I'll stay a few days or longer, I have to be home by Tuesday. If the weather seems like that it's gonna be some flash flood warnings, then I may head over I may go to Niagara Falls. I've never been there and I think that'd be a cool place to go. It's a, about two or three hours from here. So uh, if I leave early enough, I may do that and then just take a couple days to drive back home again. Um, I've been loving the setup in the van. Everything's so convenient and so efficient. I changed a few things around. I'll make a separate video about <laughs> more little modifications that I did but I am uh, really loving being in the van. I'm loving the freedom of the traveling and just going where I want, when I want. And even though it's been hot out, I don't know if it's just New England, but it could be 90 during the day, but it cools off at night. 
it is about 78 in here which sounds like it would be hot but it can be 80 82 83 in here and I don't feel hot because I have I'll show you so especially when they're not predicting any rain and I can open the windows more I have this big fan and that's powered by my battery so it's pretty powerful and I just have that blowing right on me you see this is my pillow so it's blowing right on me if I get too cold I kind of just turn it a little bit because even though it may not I may get cold the air feels kind of stagnant if you don't just circulate it with the fan and then this one over here is just a little battery powered one so it's not that powerful and when it's not going to rain I crack this window and I have that fan velcro there so it can just blow some cool air in but usually some point during the night I have to shut that little one off and turn that one because I get a little cold and I just cover up with a little blanket so I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing tomorrow there's all sorts of cool places to hike around here but my I've been since last December I've been having trouble with my heel and uh, it's really bothering me today so I don't know I have to keep the walk short for now I have to figure something out I'm also going to look into trying to find some place to get a massage because I think if I my calves and Achilles tendon are all very tight down there I think maybe a massage would help I think I am self-diagnosing it as plantar fasciitis I don't know if that's how you say it so I'm kind of treating it like that but you know, I don't want to, I haven't gone to the doctors or anything. Because I don't, I don't want to treat it the typical way. But I might go just to get a diagnosis and then figure out the best way to treat it naturally. So I will talk to you guys next time. Good night. So today is going to be kind of just a chill day. I'm just going to do some things on YouTube, make, make videos, and just kind of relax. I've been kind of busy and active, so uh, I'm just going to kind of rest my foot today. Just wanted to show you this is kind of the backyard of where I'm at. You can see how it's a little low there. Then it gets a little higher where I'm standing. Well, I just found out that it's supposed to have a heavy thunderstorm later on today, so there may be some flash floods and I guess before there was a flash flood it went all oh, the flood the waters came all the way up into this gravel area and right over there to where the van is parked so isn't that great so I'm gonna move my van a little bit higher it's a little bit higher ground to the right and just stick around here because it's better to be with my friend who knows what's to do and everything than to try to travel around or find higher ground or whatever because the water kind of comes down those streets I guess I don't know I really this is the stuff I need to learn I guess so I'm just gonna hang around here today stay local and uh, when he gets home from work and his girlfriend just kind of hang out with them and keep an eye on the van I'm worried about Sparky. I don't want anything to happen to, to him.